This is News 10 First at 5. Good afternoon, I'm Susan Dinkle. It's Thursday, September 28th. Knox County is getting a new coroner this weekend. It comes after the county had to remove the previous one, Karen Donovan. So what does it take to become a county coroner and who's in the running for this open seat? News 10's Bureau Chief Nathan Springfield explains. Like certain jobs, elected positions require knowledge and experience. I recently spoke with Knox County Clerk David Shelton to find out what the requirements are to be coroner. On Saturday, a caucus will determine a new Knox County coroner. This person will serve the remainder of Karen Donovan's term, which expires on December 31st, 2024. According to Knox County Clerk David Shelton, a medical background is not required to be coroner. Uh, they're not medical examiners. They just you know, rely on reports given to them by a forensic pathologist and, and labs and such like that. Shelton explained that those running for coroner must have lived in Knox County for at least a year. Once elected, uh, you do have to do, uh, I think it's like a 40 hour training course, and then you have to maintain and keep up to date on continuing education opportunities. Joe Millspa, Beth Myers, and Kent Davis have applied for the Knox County coroner position. All three candidates are from Knox County. Mill Spa currently works as the chief deputy coroner. According to Shelton, there are 26 precincts in Knox County. Each precinct chairman will vote for an applicant. Once an applicant is chosen, they'll immediately begin acting as coroner. I'll have all the paperwork required uh, at, the, at the caucus, so they'll be sworn in on the spot. Now the caucus is scheduled to happen at Vincent City Hall this coming Saturday at 9 a.m. News 10 will of course have the results of the caucus on air and online at WTHITV.com. Reporting in Vincent, Nathan Springfield, News 10. Now here's a refresher for why the county had to remove the previous coroner, Karen Donovan. You may remember us reporting on Donovan's arrest for drug charges back in March. Police found methamphetamine, fentanyl and deceased patients drugs in her home. On September 12th, she pleaded guilty to the possession of methamphetamine, and that's when she was officially removed from her position as coroner.